Hello, and welcome to the Design of Forms. And today, we get to the close of our story. We get to something that is really extraordinary. It's called the Wa. And it is a transauric form. And it is the largest of the transauric form. It is the largest form that we have on this plane. The Wa begins when you have 9 to 16 people together. So we're dealing with relatively large groups. Now it's interesting, the wa is made up of pentas, three pentas and an alpha. That is three groups of five and one leading force. And everything about the nature of our overall development on this planet is actually controlled by wa mechanics when you're out on the street in a crowd and you're shopping, when you're in a classroom and you're studying, when you're a member of any given parliament or senate, you know, wherever you happen to be in any grouping, at an athletic competition, in warfare, whatever the case may be, you're operating within WA mechanics and they are very, very specific. The study of WA is something that is remarkable. I've been working for the, the last three years now in building up from Penta into Wa Dynamics and looking at the way in which our lives are altered and impacted by the presence of these transoric forms. The Wa is the one that is most closely associated with the way in which the world actually works. It is what locks us together in these complex groupings and allows us to have common pursuits and relationships within them. Transoric forms, we cannot see them. We are not conscious of them. If there was ever a great gift in the knowledge that I was given, this insight into these not seeable mechanisms was really something profound. The moment that you do understand them, that is the moment that it's explained how they function, the way in which these forms function, you see it everywhere. You see it all around you. It is the way in which our world is organized. There are those that belong in such constructs. Most do not, yet they are never aware of that. It is one of the things that arises out of transoric studies and work, is to be able to provide guidelines for people in terms of, you know, what is most suitable for them. For example, in terms of their career, in terms of their development, transoric forms dominate this plane. They just do. In closing, this journey of taking you through the design of forms, the knowledge base of human design is really vast. It's vast. If you factor in the elements of rave cosmology and the, the work of the rave book of the dead in terms of Bardo and all of these things, if you, if you look at all of these incredible different areas of information that's available, mappings that are there, that you get to see how, well, just how extraordinary this information stream was. It's there to give us access to whatever we need to have access to. I only hope that one day that there will be those that will be fascinated with and follow a trajectory that allows them to explore and elaborate on these various forms. And out of that will come knowledge not only that is of benefit to them, but of benefit to all of us. The knowledge is there not as a novelty. It's just that given the nature of time and my work, all I could do was concentrate on the priority that is the human design. But the rest of it, the rest of it is an untapped treasure.
Thanks for watching.